Hi, my name is Joe De La Rosa from the Real Housewives of Orange County, and you're watching JD 24-7. First, I want to apologize for not being a beautiful woman. Oh, I'm no. sorry. You know, I have to apologize as well. I'm not a beautiful woman, but I'd like to be. I mean, look at her over here, Miss Beverly Hills. And you're going to have a lot of that tonight. A lot of beautiful women are going to have you on camera, and I have to be the dude, so I want to apologize, well, we first off. Dude stuff. There so, we you know, go. We're guys. cars and, uh, you know. and chicks. Chicks. <laughs> there you go. You can't talk yeah. about that over there, but and there you music. go. <laughs> That's it. That's there you it. go. Yeah. So uh, what, what are you representing tonight? Well, I'm with Zoe. I, I was on Zoe 101. I played Logan Reese. The show finished its fourth season. That was it. But I'm here today also promoting a charity that I'm opening myself, an organization that's going to help uh, give drug-free environments to kids for after-school free tutoring, any subject that they need, and also extracurricular art programs that count as credits for their high school. And I'm hoping to get the LAPD to help patrol the areas that I want to get started in, first in Chatsworth and in Burbank. And our ultimate goal for Los Angeles would be to reserve a large portion of Griffith Park just specifically for tutoring with bus schedules and kids can come and they can just get tutoring from free tutors all the time after school for like four or five hours a day. Oh, that's, day. that's fantastic. I mean, you were obviously passionate about that project. And when you got into acting, and I, I got to ask you, did you know that this was something you wanted to do, that you wanted to start helping people out once you started oh, making yeah. it? I got into acting and just to do that alone because I knew that acting was a great way to become publicly acknowledged around the entire world. My show plays in 90 countries, and I can go wow. to do charities in other countries around the world and, you know, actually make an influence around the entire world instead of just being somebody back home from Florida trying to start a charity in his home city. I knew that if I was going to help the most people, my ultimate goal actually is to change the world in some way. I mean, I don't care if I'm remembered or not. I just want to have the world be in some way significantly different after I pass. And so I knew that this would be the best way for me to get in the public eye the quickest if I was passionate about also acting. Well, and I want to ask you too, what, who was your inspiration? What actor inspired you to have that kind of philanthropy? You know, because usually I would assume that there's someone out there that you said, I see that, I model it, and I, I want to be that person who gives as much as they do. Who was that? Well, it was Will Smith. I, uh, I met him when I was in Florida when I was really young, and he was on a film. He was shooting Bad Boys 2, and uh, I was, my brothers were extras in the film, and I had just come back from a commercial, and we just hung out in the makeup trailer. And he was talking to me because I had I'd been passionate about helping the community. I did it in all my schools growing up. I always started programs in my city with uh, the theater programs that were there. And uh, so I started talking to him about, you know, what he does. And I was really interested. And he constantly talked to me about everything that he loved to do and how much he loved to help people because how much joy he got from helping people. And I realized that he's such a famous person and so many people look up to him as I do. And they look at him and he's an example to them. And what he does every day, it helps the world. And so that's one person that I really respect. And I, it's, oh, he's always been my idol. I got to work with him in a film festival where he donated tons of money, and he donated a big party, and he do, and so all the kids got a chance to meet him, get autographs, watch the films, and he was a big part of this organization. And it was so amazing to get to work with him personally on that level at, at that point, which he, which was almost seven years later, which was really nice. Yeah, well, that's fantastic. And thank you so much for being here tonight. Have a great time. I know you're going to be watching the awards ceremony. And thank you so much, Matthew. Of course. Thank you very much.